Hey everybody, it's Tyler here, Highlighter Graphics, and welcome to the third video of the Photoshop tutorial series on how I create my designs. Uh, this video will be on creating a background um, so that your player can blend in with them well. And the last video I said it'll be on grading maps and adjustment layers, but I'll probably leave that out until later. I'll just get the basics done now. So first thing you want to do with the background is masking you want to mask the player out which that we covered that last video and for here you can just move on here if you want to if you don't want to make your own background if you want to use this original one first of all you can use clone stamp to take some players out or whatever parts you want I covered that in a video last year it's on my YouTube here but um, you can come down here to the circle, it's half white, half black, um, and go up to hue slash saturation, and then you want to turn the saturation so it's almost down, and then the lightness, whichever you prefer to go darker for the background or lighter. I normally do dark because my backgrounds are darker, but it's based on your preference and everything and from here on you can just can you can add stuff effects and everything else which we'll cover later but we want to make our own background so first of all you want to go over to Google and uh, if you want to find a, a good court like a basketball court you can type in wood floor room just want any wood floor doesn't really matter you could do wood floor room or wood floor perspective any of them are good almost every search that you see and this little thing down here is my song getting finished so just ignore this It loads here we go all right so then you just go over to images you can do the same thing we did the first video search tools and get a, a good quality picture but um yeah you can choose any of these you can type this in or what perspective it doesn't really matter um and there's some pretty good stuff too that you can just use as a court and nobody will know it was just from a house um this is how I get some of my stuff. You go over to perspective and there's some good things. I, I've downloaded this one right here. And I don't know, just there's so much stuff. But I go to the wood floor room just because there's more stuff that I prefer. But <clears throat> most of it's based on preference. This one looks pretty good. So you right click, save it anywhere on your computer. I just have a folder with backgrounds and uh, floors right here. And see most of these are off Google. And then I've made a couple. So you save it there. You can close out of um, your browser. Go to Photoshop, file open and then find where you saved your uh, background or your court mm. here it is Bennett basement alright you can drag this over looks like it's low quality yeah so this one may not work too good I don't know we can test it out Um, I don't know I'll try it um, you can erase the background here or use the clone stamp to add more parts onto it if you want um, I think I'll use this
then I'll use clone stamp to add more. got the floor down and now we need a background like an actual background so what you can do is you can go on Google and just search like a player right here you can see I searched Rajon Rondo uh, and found him Where is it at? right here and then you can use a clone stamp tool like I did with this one to mask the player out so you just have a background or you can make your own which is what we're going to be doing so there's a couple ways you can do it um, first of all you can get a picture like you did with the player and clone stamp stuff out and you can add a separate court or a separate floor or whatever a field that you want I mean you could just put a texture in the background doesn't it, it just matters upon your preference and what you feel like you want to do in a certain design so with this one we could put a, uh, a background actual photograph background in with a separate floor or a court first of all I want to I don't want this as orange so you can come down here to the circle like we did before, hue slash, hue slash saturation, turn the saturation of the floor down, I don't know about, I don't think brightness, or I, you can change the color of it, but I think that's good. And you want to right click and hit create clipping mask so it's only for the court it's not for the background so it just it goes down only to one layer and if you disable <clears throat> or release the clipping mask then it's for everything behind it so we're just gonna do clipping mask for that and I don't know about this background I don't think I want it especially since it has a bunch of Celtics shirts on it and then a sign in the back. I mean you can take that out, but um here's another one I just used with clone stamp. This one might work good. It's just a background from a player I um stamped him out. Yeah, I think this one will work good for design and also one thing for backgrounds like I did in my uh, LeBron design I've done in a few football ones whoa okay um, you can just get some skylines off of Google like here's one of Miami and I think I use this for a Sean White side you can put the skyline in the background but I mean it really depends on what you want in your design so for this one I just want a plain background on here and what you can do is you can create a new layer down here don't want a clipping mask and then press G for the paint bucket tool this is just one way you can dim or lighten the background and make this so it's black and then you want to go to fill or opacity it doesn't matter and just uh, lower and raise it and or you can use white black or white if you want a bright or a dark background you can either do that or like before you can go separately with the hue and saturation or just come up to image adjustments 
U slash saturation. It's basically the same thing, except it doesn't create a new layer. It just keeps this as this, as um, the same layer it's already on. I don't know, but yeah. So I think that's it for creating the background. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.